Good morning, Colts, and welcome to Colts Camp. Congratulations on making it here. Today is Tuesday, and it's going to be an amazing day. My name is Luke Menchak, and I'm your outreach coordinator at your San Diego City College, and I'm excited to be here today to share with you some amazing insights about your next potential step after high school and you're probably saying well I'm not done with high school yet but guess what it's never too early to learn it's never too early to plan and it's never too early to start thinking about what's next in your life because if you know or not you can actually start engaging and taking college classes in high school in a very very short period of time so we're going to touch on that a little bit but let's go ahead and jump in and get started I want to share a little bit about myself before we go ahead my name is Luke Benchaka I am actually a California community college graduate meaning I went to a California community college I attended my community college for three years and I actually graduated with my associate's degree in liberal arts with an emphasis of music and fine arts where I was studying to be a sound engineer later I actually transferred transferred meaning I finished half of my associate half of my bachelor's degree at the community college and then later transferred to the university of california santa barbara aka ucsb go gauchos where i finished my bachelor's degree in sociology with a minor in labor studies now these degrees really helped me define my path figure out what i'm passionate about and really take myself to the next level professionally and really got me involved with working in the people field and what do i mean by people field i mean by helping people People, supporting people, guiding people, uh, enabling success, launching success, and providing that information folks need just like yourself to help them take their life to the next level. Uh, later, I did my master's in counseling and guidance from California Lutheran University, uh, and it was an amazing program. And now I am here working at San Diego City College supporting you. So this is my journey through education. It wasn't an easy one. I was a first generation college student, meaning I was the first one in my family to go to college along with my brother. I was a, a low income student, meaning my parents collected we work six jobs just to survive, not to thrive, y'all. Uh, I was also a first-generation professional. A lot of not a lot of people talk about being a first-generation professional. My dad was a custodian. Uh, my mom took care of elderly people. They didn't prep me how to go to interview. They didn't prep me how to find jobs. They didn't prep me how to get a resume. They didn't prep me how to do a cover letter. I had to figure those things out by myself, by making mistakes, not knowing how to dress to go to an interview, but I learned. And it wasn't because uh, I was just myself, but because there was amazing professionals around me that helped me elevate to finally get jobs and careers, careers. It's not about a job, it's about a career in order for me to establish myself and make myself successful in my life. So that's my journey, but let's go ahead and talk about uh, what's happening at, at the community college. So community college is an amazing opportunity for you all. And whether you know it or not, uh, you all actually have access to the community college system and taking courses through your high school. So if you're a high school counselor, talks about CCAP, dual enrollment, listen, because this is the idea that you can actually come to the community college on your high school campus and take college courses. So very, very cool. So uh, after that, uh, once students turn uh, any age, really like above 16, 17, you're actually able to dive into college courses. Now, uh, once you do graduate high school, that's really going to be the key thing. You want to graduate graduate high school with a high school diploma or equivalency. And then once you do that, you're going to get yourself financial aid, you're going to have access to that. And really, you're going to have your choice of college classes that you would have access to as long as you meet the minimum requirement. Uh, we have a couple of different things you can earn at the community college that are very, very unique from universities. And that is one called uh, a certificate, which essentially means it's a short path could be as little as six months, could be a year, could be a year and a half. So it kind of ranges depending on which program you do, but it really focuses what you want to do. So it's not going to make you do math, English, history, science, general edu uh, education stuff. But if that's what you're going to focus on, you could do it. But if you really, uh, if you just want to come in, focus and transfer, finish your degree as fast as you can, uh, this is really the certificates what you want to do. Now, the heavier degree, the more, more work comes in with the associate's degree, because that's what you're going to do if you want to get a bachelor's degree and beyond. You're, you're basically fitting, finishing 50% of your bachelor's degree. And typically, if you finish the associate's degree, you're good to go with that. Now, one big thing about uh, the community college is the cost. Now, there's going to be different universities talking about costs, you know, 7,000, 10,000, 20,000. And although there's financial aid, 
the bottom line cost is $46 a unit, which equals up to probably around $500 to $600 a semester. So twice a year and maybe half of that in the summer if you want to take summer. So the cost is far more reasonable than you would pay if you were to go to university. And guess what, folks, you could potentially be taking the same exact courses at the community college that you're going to take at the university in your first two years. So lots of great opportunities. Now, the community college also has our career technical education programs, which I'll touch on a little bit later, as well as the idea that we can prepare you for transfer. So we want to make sure you understand transfer. That's the idea that you come to the community college, you work for around two years on your general education, your major prep work, and then you transfer to, say, a university like San Diego State, UC San Diego, Point Loma, no, Point Loma Nazarene, Cal State University, San Marcos, any schools like that, and then you finish your bachelor's degree. So that is transfer, and that, my friends, is the community colleges. Now, we also have things that you can engage with, something called like poor proper technical colleges. Now, these uh, colleges do have short-term pathways, which really jam-pack coursework content in a short period of time. Now, these are great institutions if you're looking for a really, really short period. But the one thing you do also have to know is that the cost for profit schools is actually a really expensive price tag. So if, if you're a student that has access to money and you want to get started fast, 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 this may be a path for you, but you want to make sure that you do take into consideration the cost because any cost you bear as a person in college, you will have to pay that back if you are taking loans. So something to very, very watch out for is, is this something your financial aid is going to cover? Uh, is your loans going to cover this? So you want to make sure you understand that when you're going to this, but there's lots of great programs that you can do uh, that you can get in regards to like associate's degrees, uh, bachelor's, even some certificates. So along the lines of auto repair, computer technology, medical assisting, bookkeeping, accounting, uh, lots of different things out there, very specific that you can do, but the for-profit uh, colleges are an option. It's just that you need to be aware of, of the cost and that's something we really want you to know because all things sound great but make sure you understand the cost the timeline and just weigh it out for yourself is this right for me do I really need to finish uh, maybe six months faster or can I put it out for six months where I can finish but maybe have a drastically lower cost that's a decision you'll have to make on your own but we're here to support you so make sure you reach out to us now a couple different things when you start thinking about higher education options there's high school that you're currently in but we have community colleges college universities as well as the vocational program. So whatever option that you want to go to is a great option, but taking that step to make sure that you're advancing yourself is something we want you to do. Now, let's talk about our vocational programs. Now, vocational programs are the idea that you're not just sitting in a classroom. Uh, vocational programs could be so much farther from that. So if you're a student that wants to learn by doing, getting your hands into your, your studies, maybe you want to do nursing, Maybe you want to do cosmetology. Maybe you want to do automotive. Maybe you want to do aviation, which is planes. Uh, maybe, maybe you want to do culinary. Maybe you want to do, uh, may, may, maybe you want to do uh, machine technology, electronics. Maybe you want to build drones. These are our vocational programs. What a vocational program is, is that we want you to learn about a skill, about a job, about a trade, about a career in college and then you can move right into that field so you can start working and making money in that and the community college our vocational programs can really help you and prepare for a specific career that you would like to go to and again folks these aren't just classrooms with textbooks you're not just going to be listening to a professor the idea i want you to take away from this is the idea that you're going to learn by doing so you're not just going to learn to cut someone's hair by reading a book you're actually going to cut someone's hair if you want to be a graphic designer you're not just going to learn graphic design by listening to someone talk about graphic design you're going to make your own marketing campaign with you designing the graphics by you taking the photos you're not just going to learn by doing nursing, by reading about nursing, you're going to actually practice the job of doing nursing. So that's what vocational programs are about. Maybe if you think about college and you're thinking, oh, I don't want to just be in a room with textbooks or a big lecture hall. Well, the vocational programs is a great way for you to get your hands in there, learn by doing and really experience college, not just in that traditional sense where you're sitting in a big lecture hall, but really you get to get in there and really work with your hands, your mind and your and your whole body. And that's what makes these vocational programs very, very amazing. Now, our certificate programs are something that really shrinks down the time of a period that you have to spend in college. And it was something that I would actually highly recommend for a lot of you who are looking for a short term investment. Again, it could be as little as six months 
all the way up to a year, two years, depending on which program you do. Uh, and the certificates are very, very great because we can actually build a specific skill or a specific insight that you need for a specific career. So if you want to be a cosmetologist, you can get your uh, certificate in cosmetology. If you want to be a chef, we can actually get a certificate in being in culinary. If you want to be an automotive technician, we can actually get your certificate in being an automotive technician. So whatever it is that you want to do, there should be a certificate available in this area to make sure that we can give you the necessary training and experience. Experience is the key word necessary for you to get into the career that you want to go to. Now, moving on the other end, the associate's degree is basically what you do for your certificate plus general education. So English, math, history, science, uh, communications. You put all those courses together with your certificate, put them in a big bag, and then finish it. That's your associate's degree. So the associate's degree can take anywhere from like two to three years, depending on what you do. And most students will actually complete an associate's degree. And then they'll say, you know what, I'm going to transfer and finish my bachelor's degree. So this is an absolute thing that you can do in order to get to your bachelor's degree. But some students, again, they'll, they'll just finish their associate's degree and go right to work. And again, folks, there's some jobs out there that want to see certain amount of requirements completed, certain amount of classes completed, so you can get uh, different levels of pay at your jobs. So you definitely want to work within the industry that you want to go into and see which degree can actually impact you in a positive way. And the associate's degree is an amazing one that you should definitely tap into. Now, for those of you that maybe think, man, I would love to be a carpenter. I would love to be a pipe fitter. I would love to, to go into uh, the steel industry. I would love to go into metal fabrication. We do have something called apprenticeship programs in the area. There's some really powerful programs out there that really help students to dive in to the career or trade that they want to go to. And now, a lot of times when people think about, you know, working with your hands or working outside, working construction, those kind of fields, they don't think there's a lot of money associated with it. But folks, I got to tell you, there are lots and dots and thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars available for students. If you're willing to work, join the union, join these apprenticeship programs, put your time in, because essentially what it is, y'all, these apprenticeship programs are going to college, you're going to practice, you're working with professionals, you're doing all these things to develop your competencies, your insights, your skills as someone in that field. And as you'll see here, San Diego has a wide range of apprenticeship programs that you can dive into. So don't ever feel just because maybe you're not wearing a suit or you're not wearing something like that, that you're not going to be able to make great money to have a great career, to have a family, to provide for yourself, to provide for your family. Apprenticeships can absolutely get you there. Now, beyond that, um, you know, we want to talk about the idea of how do I know what to study in college? Now, a major is explained as this in the Merriam-Webster of a relating to a subject of academic study chosen as a field of specialization. So you get to choose. It's not just like everyone has to do their high school diploma. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to do on a daily basis? What is it that you want to learn? How do you want to develop and that is what your major can do for you. It's not just the idea that, you you know, this is my major, but what do you want your major to do for you? Do you want your major to bring joy to you? Do you want your major to help you in your future career? Do you want your major to really uplift you, to provide insight to you, to help you grow as a person, as a professional, as someone in our community? That is what your major can do. And your major can influence you in so many different ways, not just what you're focusing on what you want to study, but how it can help you grow and develop as a student, as a professional, and as a person. And those are the things I want you to know about your major. Now, let's take a deeper dive into what a major is and can be. Now, uh, really, I want to talk about, we talked about a little bit, that's, a majors can be skill-based, meaning that we could teach you a specific skill. So as you see here, if you want to learn video production because you want to start your own YouTube channel or you want to start your own company and you need to know how to edit videos because you want to put out content, we can teach you how to do video production. Now, for some students, you know, they, they, they're in the automotive industry, but they don't really have a lot of insight on working on brakes. Come to the, come to the college. You can actually learn learn how to service breaks, which is amazing. Now, maybe you're a cosmetologist, but you don't have a lot of experience working on nails. Come to the college, you can actually learn specific skills and how to be a nail technician. So if there's a specific skill you want to learn, 
your major can relate to that. Now, the next thing what you could do is you can actually find a career-based major. Some of the most popular career-based majors kind of I discussed already, nursing, uh, cosmetology, uh, you know, culinary, uh, automotive. These are all career-based majors. Now, this is one really great option that you have as a CNC operator, and they actually fabricate and shave metal down to create objects for people to use in our daily lives. So it could be like restaurant materials. It could be in the construction industry. It could be car parts. So your, your people that are learning how to work on cars at the school, you're going to be helping them because you can make tools. You can actually make parts to an automobile, like a, a automotive manifold. You can even make like intakes, different things like that. So the machine technologists, the CNC operators all work together to create the items to provide to different professionals and industries. And there's lots of different money in this. So this is career-based education. Now you can actually do majors that lead to specific careers as well. So we have sociology, biology, you see all the different careers, sociologists, law, government, social work, nonprofit, education, K through 12 teachers. These are just some options, y'all. It's unlimited. Biology, research and practice, scientists, medical health professionals, uh, physicians, psychiatrists, dentists, lots of different options out there. Your major can open the door to so many things. It's not going to close doors. It's going to open doors. So really discover what's the possibility. Now, as you can see, this is really, again, just a really uh, big uh, image on being a biology major. It's just to show you there's options out there, y'all. It's not going to limit the options you have. It's really going to expand it because getting your major in something is just really going to open the door. You can always go back and reference it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, sociology, same kind of thing. Lots of different options. Lawyer, high school teacher, counselor, psychologist. A little similar, but some a little different too. So you got some options when going into that. And I'm going to leave it there, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to our next presenter. It's so sorry again that I can't be there today. I just wish you a fantastic day. Be strong, keep pushing forward, do this thing. And congratulations for being here, y'all. This is an amazing, amazing accomplishment. I'm going to stop it there. Have a great rest of your day and go Colts. Let's go.